<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll go next. That way, Chevy will have two people, even though my character's story really kind of hinges on hers, but that's all right. I, I'm going to go ahead and go and explain it all. And then she'll have two examples before, so she can have a little more time to think. <clears throat> Name's Leonard Galvin. I wake up every morning and uh, go outside and fix myself a cup of coffee and have myself a little bit of bagel with my cream cheese and uh, take a walk from my cabin on down to my office. It's only a couple hundred yards through the woods. <clears throat> I get to my office where I'm the district uh, ranger in the Chattahoochee Alcony National Forest. I uh, <clears throat> go in and say hello to every morning, everybody say morning, drop my coffee and my trucker hat on my desk and then I take me a little walk just to get the piece of nature in my in my spirit before I start my day. <clears throat> Listen to the birds and the squirrels and just smile a little bit. Because paper always brings me down with the paperwork and that's pretty much all this job is, you know. But uh, nice quiet retirement. So I walk out in the woods and uh, walking along the trail and lo and behold, my trained senses from my days in the CIA uh, still just out of habit, can't help it was uh, picking up some disturbance on the trail and I'm looking along the trees and right now near the ground, right down by the ground, right below right down by the dirt there's a green triangle spray painted on the side of one of my trees and I'm not happy about this because first of all you're fucking on my tree. Second of all, I know what that green triangle is. These motherfuckers keep trying to get me, and they ain't gonna get me. But I know what I gotta do, so I turn back around, I start walking into the office nice and slow, taking my time, dragging my feet and grinding my teeth, and then I'm gonna pick up my office phone. I'm gonna dial that god dang number wait for that travel agent to pick up. You know what that some bitch said to me? He said, we sent you a bag. <sighs> Listen, I already told you people two or three times I ain't interested. And this time, this man said to me, oh, what a shame. Tegan gonna be so disappointed. So now I'm getting on a plane. I just made most of that up. You can do this, I promise.